Dear students, today I am going to explain the SN2 reaction which is also known as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. If you want to know about nucleophilic substitution reaction or SN1 reaction, you can watch my other video. The link of that video will be given in the description box. So let's start the SN2 nucleophilic substitution reaction. See this SN2 nucleophilic substitution reaction which is also known as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. So here as its name indicate bimolecular means two molecules were involved. So here we can say the rate of reaction will depends on two molecule nucleophilic substitution reaction means here involvement of nucleophile means the nucleophile will going to substitute one of the functional group which is present in the molecule again i am repeating nucleophilic substitution reaction means the nucleophile will going to substitute other functional group which is present in the molecule so here bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction means the rate of reaction depends on the two molecule. So as we can say the rate of reaction depends on both substrate. So here what does mean by both substrate? Here both substrate means one is alkyl halide and other is nucleophile. See I will explain it with Taking a common example, let's see, this is our AB, one molecule or it can be a substrate and C is nucleophile. So when the reaction will take place, A and C, so A and C, the new molecule is formed and B, it act as a leaving group, means it left the molecule AB. So here you can see, so here you can see the C nucleophile has replaced B and B here it is liberated. So it means this nucleophile has substituted B, means C has substituted B. So here B is liberated or it left the AB. So that is why it is called as nucleophilic substitution reaction where this C nucleophile will repla replace B. So here the rate of reaction means the reaction proceed in such a way that it depends on the concentration of both AB and C. So here we can write the rate of reaction will depends on concentration of substrate and concentration of nucleophile. So in this case the rate of reaction will be K is the rate constant, concentration of AB and the concentration of nucleophile which is C. So that is why this SN2 is known as bimolecular substitution reaction. Bimolecular means the involvement of two molecules. So here two molecules are AB initial substrate and C is nucleophile. So that is why this SN2 reaction is also known as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. The major difference between the SN1 and SN2 type reaction is that the SN1 reaction proceed in two step while SN2 reaction will proceed in one step only. So I am here giving one example through which you can easily understand that. Let's see methyl bromide is there. This is methyl bromide. When it react with hydroxy ion, this is nucleophile. So in case of SN1 reaction, first the Br will be liberated. In second step, the OH will attach to this carbon. So in SN1 reaction, it proceed by two step but here we are discussing SN2 reaction which proceed in single step and here the major thing is the formation of intermediate compound which is also known as transition state see the reaction very carefully here this is carbon this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is third hydrogen and this is bromide and this is the nucleophile 
hydroxy ion this is the most important part in sn2 reaction why because this is the transition state or intermediate state so here i am writing the name of all the compounds which are involved in sn2 reaction so here methyl bromide when react with hydroxy ion hydroxide ion which is a nucleophile first they will form a transition state in this transition state you can see the hydrogens they will form this type of structure and at a time both bromine and the hydroxy ion they will form a partial bond with this carbon central carbon here you can see the bond between carbon and the bromine is not completely broken and the bond between hydroxide ion and the carbon is not completely formed so that is why it is a transition state or intermediate state where there is a partial formation of bond between carbon and hydroxide ion and the partial breaking of bond between carbon and the bromide or carbon and the bromine atom so this is the most important part in sn2 type reaction the formation of transition state in case of sn1 reaction this bromide ion will be liberated and the formation of carbocation takes place this carbon will acquire positive charge and after that nucleophile will attack on this carbon but in case of sn2 type reaction simultaneously this hydroxide ion will form a bond with this carbon here you can see neither the complete bond formation takes place between carbon and hydroxide ion neither the complete pre uh, neither the complete breaking of bond between carbon and bromine atom takes place so this type of structure will form and after that the bromide ion will be liberated and the hydroxy ion will form a complete bond so here it is methanol or methyl alcohol so this is the formation of methanol or methyl alcohol and this is the bromide ion so here you can see in next step the electrons which are shared between carbon and bromine will be taken by this bromine so here the electrons will taken by the bromine and the hydroxide ion which is electron rich the electrons which are present on this hydroxide ion will be used by this carbon to form a new bond so here you can see this hydroxide ion will use electron to form a bond with this carbon and the electrons which are present between carbon and bromide will be taken by the bromine atom so here you can see in next step the hydroxide ion will form a complete bond with this carbon and the bromide ion will be liberated so this is the uni so this is the single step reaction while the sn1 is two step reaction the major difference between sn1 and sn2 is that sn1 reaction takes place in two step where the formation of carbocation takes place while the sn2 reaction takes place in single step where the transition state will form and this transition state is the most important part in this sn2 reaction and why it is bimolecular substitution reaction because here both these methyl bromide or the substrate and the nucleophile they play major role in this reaction so that is why the concentration of both substrate and nucleophile will affect the rate of reaction because here the formation of transition state see if the concentration of nucleophile will be less suppose because it is a bimolecular substitution reaction so rate of reaction depends on both substrate and the nucleophile if we will decrease the concentration of any of these two compounds suppose that if we decrease the concentration of hydroxide ion so the less number of transition state 
will form because if less number of oh will be available then the less number of transition state compound will form and less number of methyl alcohol will form and if we decrease the concentration of substrate then obviously less amount of substrate is available for to form a bond with this nucleophile so ultimately both the concentration will affect the rate of reaction that is why it is known as bi molecular substitution reaction and i hope that you have understood that why this is called as bi molecular substitution reaction because here the involvement of both the molecule the substrate and the nucleophile is there if the concentration of any one of these either substrate or nucleophile will be decreased then the rate of reaction will be affected and it will also get decrease because the less number of this transition state product will form Transi because the less number of this transition type of structure will form so that is why it is a bimolecular substitution reaction and as you can see in sn1 reaction the nucleophile can attach to the same position where the halide group was present in sn1 you will get a racemic mixture means the isomeric compounds you will get but here you will get a walden inversion product walden inversion product means here you can see the bromine atom is present at the front side but at the end of the product the hydroxide ion is attached at the back side so instead of replacing the place of bromine it attached at the back side of the carbon so that is why it is a inverted product so which is also known as walden inversion walden inversion why because we got a inverted product because here the bromine is present at the front side of the carbon but here in the product the hydroxide ion will present at the back side of the carbon so means the position occupied on the carbon is not same in the product it is totally different here it is present at the front side but here it is present at the back side this walden inversion this walden inversion is also the stereochemistry for the bimolecular substitution reaction because in stereochemistry you can see you got a inverted product bromine which is present at the front side of the carbon is replaced by this hydroxide ion but this hydroxide ion is attached at the back side of carbon so that is why there is a inversion in the stereochemistry of the product so this is called walden inversion and that is the stereochemistry means we will get a product which has inverted configuration means the position where the living group is present will be remain as such at the back side only the nucleophile will attach so means the same position will not be occupied by the nucleophile it will be the inverted or back side or opposite side of the living group this bromine atom is living group why living group because it has to leave this alkyl halide the alkyl group so that is why it is known as living group so your bromine ion is living group or bromide ion is living group so i hope that this video will help you to understand the sn2 by molecular substitution reaction if you had any doubt or query you can ask in if you had any doubt or any query you can ask in comment section and if you like my video then kindly subscribe my channel and share it also dear students if you found this video useful then tap the like button and subscribe my channel to get latest update of my other videos